Hello everyone. I'm the lightning cat. Oh wow, every time I make noise. Oh, oh. time to get up. Oh. It's bloody freaking hot. Now. 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 Right, I had a strange dream where I was learning to fly some weird airplane and then I was using a, a cannon that launched chips. Those little round tortilla chips. I'm fine with the chip cannon, but the, the learning to fly an airplane, that's what got me. <laughs> yeah, what is it, Balto? Huh? Yeah? You, you, you've got food. You need to eat it. You just want me to, you just want me to be annoyed with you, that's it. Trying to lug that in for fuck's sake. Cannot do that one handed. <clears throat> hey. How you doing? Huh? if my tea still tastes good. Mmm, still tastes good. After it cooled off. Yeah, there, there's no tannin in it. I didn't burn it this time. I'll agree with the British and the English that Americans don't do tea right. I mean, seriously. You you put it in there and, and you basically, you just burn it and then, then it comes out all bitter. Then you just pile in pounds and pounds of sugar until it just tastes like syrup. America, you don't do tea right, man. <clears throat> you, with water, you, you don't need to be boiling the, the water so fiercely. And it's real difficult to get tea done right through a coffee maker. Basically... Use half a th half a cup of cold water and half a cup of uh, water that goes through a coffee maker. That's if you use a coffee maker to do tea. And this Lipton, uh, Red Diamond, all these prepackaged tea brands. Those don't even taste right. Tea is something that's not supposed to be just guzzled in mass. It's it's supposed to be like um, uh, it's supposed to be something flavorful, something unique. It's not supposed to be mass produced. Not, not, not in that point where you, not to the point where one brand producing a tea bag is, is no different from the other brand. 
a good example of tea that's mass produced efficiently that's uh, unique that's uh, an experience is the tea I have right over here uh, Yoga, Tezo, Numi, Celestial yeah the, these brands Triple Leaf Hey, Balto. Desperately wanting attention. There you go. It's shedding season. Your hair is going everywhere. You know that, right? Man. Hair everywhere, Balto. Hair everywhere. <coughs> Right, so, yeah, th those are examples of teas that are mass-produced, and their, their experiences, they're unique. I really, I really looked down on the teas that I was, that I had to drink when I was younger, because, what, brands like Red Diamond or Lipton, they're just not unique. They're not an experience. They're they're just mass produced for the sake of mass production. They have no purpose. They have no they have no body, no flavor. They're just blah. And the way that people make them is even worse. sticking tea bags into a coffee maker and burning the living crap out of them with scalding hot water <clears throat> to make a decent cup of tea the water needs to be warm enough to push the flavor out of the leaf it also needs to be cool enough not to extract the tannin. Tannin is in every type of tea. It's in the leaf. When you heat the water too much, it causes the tannin to come out instantly. When you have hot water that's just at the top end of the bracket for how hot it should be or how cool it should be if you leave it in too long if you leave the leaf in too long the tannin comes out if you hit that sweet spot you can leave it in just long enough <sighs> If you hit that sweet spot with the temperature, you basically don't need to worry about the tannin. Dare I should say it, warm water instead of hot. Also, what are you doing? Mm. Through all the time that I've been attempting to make a decent cup of tea, only once only once have I ever gotten a perfect cup of tea. Once. That's where I got just the right temperature and just the right time of steeping the bag. I got all the flavor and no tannin. Only once did I get a perfect cup of tea. And that time, I didn't even need sugar to sweeten it. 
because it was a uh, it was a um, some sort of mint variation of tea. It was beautiful. So I need to find out how to get back to it. One perfect cup of tea. That's all it takes to make you want to strive for that perfect cup of tea again. Meow. Uh huh. You just wanted me to give you attention. That's what you wanted. Right, okay. That bit's done with. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe, join Patreon, support the channel today, hit the bell to get notified when new videos come out. Blah, 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 blah. I hate having to do that at the end of a video. But I have to. Till next time, everybody. Bye.